This is Victor's 2.5 star path with 2 star of I. So let's do this. Okay, so we already have two draws, if I remember correctly. Grand, okay. Game start. Draw two cards that cost two or less. Two, two card. We'll have too many draws. So, okay, let's try it out and see what happens. We'll experiment it for the first time. It's not too good to have this many cards at the start. So we throw away this. We throw, okay, keep that. We'll throw away the other. Okay, we can keep one mystic shot. Uh, not really. We have a big unit on the board. We want more units. We'll be drawing four cards in total. Yeah, starting hand nine cards. Okay, we can play that. Uh, we want to play. We can't really. Okay, we will take too much damage, so we'll throw with this guy and play one of the poros. So we take a we take less damage. We play this girl so the next turn with they draw she will get one plus extra she gets one plus attack power for every card you draw so that's that yet turn three we will play this we will draw another card she will grow by one more they will have another portal and we'll attack with this two not the other one and they're blocking it great for us we get rid of their elusive units which is very important because we have only a few ways of like dealing with the elusive they're playing a or two we just need to play something of two mana we'll play this guy it gives us mana we did do that um we will sacrifice our unit and we'll play this girl we get we lose one mana, but it's fine by us. We're just basically preparing her for next turn. Because when they draw a card, she grows. We play this, she grows. We play this guy, I mean this girl. The single combat. They do that. We will do this. And we'll have a full board of, a full board, full board of hitters on the board. 15 damage, nice, nice. We have enough damage for lethal. With next turn, we'll just double Mystic Shot and finish the game without taking any phase damage, which is great for us. That's gonna cost a little less. We will just do this and finish the game. We can expect a Mystic Shot coming at our face, but that's fine. There we go. A clean win for the first game. If only the entire path was this clean, yeah. Even though this is Victor's pet, the one fight that I'm always concerned about is Azir. It's too strong. Okay, let's see what else we can get. We can play Paradine Ice. It can help us give us our OTK. If you're careful. Okay, so let's see our support squad. Um, we have five. We want cheap units. Um, I will take this. Not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Okay, Solitaire one cuts cards from your deck so the only good one is this one so champion let me going on the right side a very difficult fight this one because we don't have any ways to kill do we have any ways to interact nope we don't okay we'll keep the solari and um, we'll throw away this we'll throw away okay, we'll keep that it gives us cheap units in just in case we need bodies on the board okay parody nice we might throw it away with this high chance we're gonna throw it away I have nine cards in total. Okay, so they play that. When we, look ahead, we play we this. Just the so defense. that we have a better uh, statted body on the board. If they gain anything, any stats, we're gonna trade it. They get tough, we're gonna attack. Okay, okay we will trade it. Oh shit, no, this is a four. I forgot that it grew by one. I think it's power, right? Uh, the fours with keywords have plus one, plus one. Okay, that was my bad. Um. I will play this to gain some mana. We also get a draw. <laughs> Let's see what they get. I mean, what this card is. Exhaust. It's gonna go to zero. Okay. So they just draw, they're not healing. So we will do this. And we'll attack with this. Probably won't block it, yeah. Don't expect it to. 
see if they play anything big or that um what we can do is we can play can we play something of two yeah we'll play this girl or guy we get a, a card draw and we're we have to be a little careful because the bloody business combo is coming from next turn okay so sand charger okay with that hopefully it won't get oh it's not the same path anymore so we'll play this we draw this guy girl grows we do that um we do this and we do this yeah this should be fine a full board trade great for us but the problem starts from next turn and that's when the major problem will start because they're gonna start playing uh units that have uh what should i say bloody business capability so we'll pass because they are not playing it okay we're gonna burn one card unlucky we can lose the worst of it so they do that we'll play our and that starts and this is the thing that you have to be very careful if you're not careful you're gonna just get blown away because this is gonna happen continuously over the rounds but they're giving over now. and we have as long as this guy doesn't get um spell shield will be fine we played this summons one we'll summon another poro and another poro and we'll play um this spell next turn we'll play this spell it will give everything stats plus stun and then we'll play by stun You can expect a bloody business coming from the, that side. They're gonna stat, uh, buff it first, of course. Spell shield one, action late, great for us. So we'll play our Y, and you'll see bloody business coming here. Okay. Exhaust coming here, or exhaust. So they're uh, putting it low so that it can't kill that guy. It doesn't matter because we're gonna attack like this. Twenty-three exactly lethal. There we go. Oh, a little complicated, but it worked out pretty well. I didn't think Leona would be this good, but yeah, Leona was better than I thought she would be. Okay, so Mystic Shot Quick Attack, we don't want that. We can take this. Every time we use this, we get a Poro. We go to Champion Attachment, and let's see. So Quick Attack, she already has it. So we should give more attack power to um, Vi. Faster level up. Grant a random. Wait. I didn't read the condition patch report but so far so good Leona is doing great work uh, we'll throw away this throw away this throw away this we we'll just keep Leon on the hand we have good stuns on us okay we'll, go, <laughs> we'll take nine cards right there we go. so we have to draw uh, play something nine cards we get that we'll skip but it got the worst thing that we would want it to have which is tough to do that um we'll stun the guy now if they attack we can't technically do anything yeah we can't technically do anything take three damage it's fine um, so we attack like this if they block it like this, we uh, use our um, gotcha, expensive gotcha. So it trades it. It's good for us. It's fine because we're gonna play Leona when they develop something this turn. Hopefully they will develop something. They play that with a bunch of units. It's fine. We play Leona, stuns that one, and they can't actually now attack without being in a very bad spot. But they have managed to play more units. That was the worst case scenario. Um, we can't play this because we have to block it in a specific manner. So block it like this, um, block it like this, and block it like this. And we take 6 damage, but it's fine. Seven damage yeah we took a lot of damage that's unlucky so we play our Vi. I'll go our Vi. 
why should start clearing up everything we definitely go for that one absolutely important to get rid of that card this card this card grows by the way exactly that card grows so we are losing our leona unlucky hopefully they're not playing anything but we'll play our girl so we have three units they have two attackers So we play that, we play this. Stuns. Leona is always leveled up. We play that, we play this. We have 9 cards, I think we get our 10th. If only this guy had a day uh, daybreak. That's a oh, he himself is a daybreak. Oh no, that effect is daybreak, that's why. I forgot. Okay. Summoning a big unit. Six plus doesn't matter. We gotta attack with everything. Full swing and everything everything. We have missed the shots to clear the board up with whatever HP these units are gonna survive. Why levels up? Yeah, so far so good. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Now Leona's being a better support than I thought she would. So we so immediately kill that one. That one grows by 1-1. One, one. This go grows by only attack, so... What do I do? Do this. So when we play this, uh, Leona will stun. So that's funny. Okay, do that. We do gotcha. We do that, we do this, Leona's gonna stun this one. Pretty good, they won't attack. Oh, they're attacking. Okay, nice, we take it then. Oops. Yeah. This guy's actually important. Okay, so they're sad. And we just open attack and win. Vi has overrun on her. How did she buy get overrun? one of the keywords yeah there we go we took a lot of damage here and it, it's it's relevant because of the azir fight coming in next i'm not too confident to <laughs> win the azir fight with this squad though grand tutu two mana tutu is pretty strong this is challenger more important so power or hp definitely go for power Sparring student, reading copy, Blade's Edge. Not the greatest. I think we have already lost, in my opinion. I will take this one just in case. I have a feeling we already lost, but. Aussie fight, yeah, the most difficult fight in the path. Your deck has to be super strong to take this guy on. Mystic shot, we'll keep. Uh, we'll keep our Vi. Uh, Aussie is coming next turn. Their attacking turn. Get 10 card in hand. So that's that. Play this. This blocks that. If the blade's edge was zero cost, then it would be great. Yeah, so can't really do anything. Let's throw it away. So we won't play our stun this turn. We'll keep it, we'll play this. Okay. So what we do is we'll throw this against Azir. Grow everything. Um, Throw away. I think I will throw away our second buy. I'll throw away second buy. Because we'll never get a chance to use a second buy in my opinion. And start flooding the board a little. So we have attackers, we'll attack with this of course. that should be fine now this is the turn that will be problematic the best thing is it we can do is solari but they are already doing it pretty dangerous we are solari so at least azir will get blocked we'll do this so that at least azir will get blocked oh no that bit's getting blocked okay. okay fine by us what we want to do is we want to block it like this block it like this block it like this and block it 
They took a bunch of damage. Unlucky. You have to have units for these sand soldiers to be blocked or you're dead. So we play this first, get mana. And got you him. I'll keep the one mana for next turn. We don't have to use the knife. What we'll play is our Vi. Hopefully they will play their second Azir. They won't play their second Azir. They're playing their second Azir. Oh shit, it doesn't work anymore like that. Do it like this. Yes. Get our Vi leveled up. The reason why I attacked with this, so that next turn when they develop something, we can Mystic Shot and kill it. Oh shit, no. Okay, fine. Okay, I can do knife this guy, so next time we can just Mystic Shot and kill it. Or if they summon multiple units, we'll drain for four. So do that. We will stun the strongest, which is this one. So it doesn't summon more sand soldiers. They do that. We will kill this. Maybe we get on on Roy. Nope. There we go. It's fine. We'll attack with Vi, pulling it with attack there pulling it back okay this guy levels up because Vi has leveled up with special quick attack fine by us we can do this and do some massive damage yeah, we'll do this then it doesn't actually help as much as i thought it would actually it give, give stats to that guy i know what i'm on by uh leona So if they summon more, okay, they don't summon anything. We do this. Yeah, we'll do this. Sand soldier blocks. Getting rid of that guy is, uh, girl is important. Or if they strike next turn, we'll be in trouble. Okay. So still we win. Oh, damn, I can't believe I actually won the first strike. Yeah, this is extremely hard to fight. Like if you played it yourself, you know it. I was beating with 15 HP is actually a lot. You normally just get KO'd on turn three or four. A pretty decent win, I'll take it. Okay, so attack for free is crazy, stupidly crazy. She can level her up immediately just by playing. If she get gr gr grows by stat time, uh, attack power, I mean. Okay. I'll play this because now this is gonna combine with the fleeting thing that we're gonna get and we can actually use the blade stance every turn. So this means that I will have a three mana spell every turn without doing anything. So we no longer care about uh, banking specific mana or playing specific uh, champions to bank mana. We will always have two mana. Okay, throw with this, throw with that. Um, we'll keep these two. We're going to draw more cards, four cards to be exact. Wait for us. We no longer need this as much as we would want because of the spell mana we are already going to get. But we'll be able to use a bunch of spells. See, turn one I can use this. Okay, so they play that. Uh, we play the discounted version. And we play this against the face, and we can do this every turn. We can every turn play a knife against the face. It's turn three. Let's see what we get. We play her first. They play this. We play this. Okay. So we will knife that girl so they can drag and kill it. Put it like this and do good damage. How much is five? Why is nine? Um, we don't have to do anything extra. So if they if they break this, we're gonna stun it. They do that. So it comes out. I think there will be two of them. Yeah. Or one of them, we will just stun it with our Leona. Problem is this is gonna go kill one of these right yeah so they do that we will knife this and this get rid of the blocker and we are doing all this so that vile is levels up you will understand the moment i play her very nice we play vile she open attacks for free levels up we attack again yeah free attack on vile is stupidly strong they do that. 
that's a lot of set lines but we're okay with it we'll do this and we'll drop track like this yeah one damage yeah we'll just knife her knife them to the face and we just threw the knife yeah there we go damn very good combo right yeah vice free attack is stupidly strong so we go for more champion attachment and see what we can turn by into um when i summon capture me is pretty good because we already have copies of him in the deck let's see get we give one cost less so that i can be played on turn four let's see what power we can get highest attack strikes that's devastating for vi um nothing more nothing extra is needed we have a shop there we have a item chest here we're gonna go for the shop because we can buy another power a common power we'll have eight powers um when we fight uh victor if we can make it of course device here we will we will um we'll throw away these two okay we'll keep the mystic shot because mystic shot can be played for free we're getting three mana every turn so mystic shot is basically a free card that's a bad draw more cross okay Two mana draw uh, we play okay what we do is we mystic shot it first okay we can't mystic shot it we can mystic shot mystic shot it first okay we knife it we knife it and then we'll play her and she will give more she will give more mana and we're gonna use the mana to get grow these by two two nice perfect using all your spells and combos together this is turn three one more turn till five comes on four so what we want to do is want to play this guy so that we can play some mushrooms and grow by vi even more we do that we do this so we attack with everything and we keep mystic shot open so that they when they block it like this uh, okay fine we don't have to mystic shot that one we'll just knife it and play mushroom get her to 12 and she's set ready next turn yeah she's ready next turn using all our of our mana so the combo is ready this is the combo 12 damage direct to face she levels up <laughs> yeah why super strong with, with, with this attachment you're passing uh we'll just knife face oops wrong card knife face and we just open attack we automatically win when we do it i guess they don't have any um units they have spells so that's got you we open attack and that one yeah so they lower our attack i think we still have enough yeah exactly 15. And there we go a clean win yeah super strong y squad now every champion has a specific power that makes it broken and this is one of them okay, so what we want to do is we want to have extra this oh, mystic shot will do three damage that's crazy go to shop and buy our last power when we strike lower its attack power it's pretty good um we don't really need anything and we'll just go on to the boss fight let's see if we can cut anything decent i mean cut anything from the deck if we don't need it um, I think I will throw away this. Not really that good. Nuisance for us. So yeah, this is the boss fight. A 2.5 star victor versus 2 star Vi. So let's do this with one revive. The foes units have plus one plus one for each of their keywords. All we need to do is have Vi in our hand and grow her by turn four. And that's it. We have Vi, we have a Leona, but we'll throw away Leona. We'll keep these two because these two are spells and we're going to get three mana for free. Oh, that's a bad card okay so this is the last fight i'm quite nervous not gonna lie okay a lot of spells but no yeah, a lot of spells but no card draw so what we do is we play this unfortunately okay they copy it 10 cards but we have to play it unfortunately so we will just knife the face let's see what they do okay, they can't really do anything um we'll keep the thing we don't unnecessarily want to play it so oh damn it got burned unlucky um what we want to do is we play this because that's the only uh, unit we have we can play i mean 
they got a, we got a gotcha we will play this for two two grow them and they will uh oh yeah that's a big one right okay. five five so what we do is open attack first and see what they do uh we just need to we are losing both of them right yeah okay, so what we can do is there's no way to save both of them so i'd rather use oh wait, we can easily save that one yeah we can save this one when the damage goes through its attack power is going to go down there we go and it grew as well for some weird reason i don't know what happened but i don't know why its stat line went up but that's great for us Fi is ready so what we do is we play this five free attacks and uh attack power five plus strikes the and weakest weakest enemy and that was the only enemy and the game is technically set from this point onwards and we'll grow them even more for the sake of growing nothing more and yeah that's about it <laughs> anticlimactic but we'll just strike and see how much damage we do 28 a absolutely devastating combo from by There we go. A <laughs> pretty crazy combo, right? Yeah. Broken beyond anything. The tri that Trifarian power is always pretty strong, especially with Darius squad. That power is broken with Darius squad. Okay, there we go. Wrap up. Um, two star five versus two point five star victor game. Path of champions. Probably a B or. Oh, S. Nice, nice. Okay, so power discussion. So the only one uh, attachment I have on Vi is the quick attack. So she's basically a 5 mana chal uh, challenger quick attack duff. Then we got uh, this pickaxe that gave it plus 2 plus 2. We gave it attack because we want, want it to reach its uh, max 10 power strike to level up faster. And we gave this quick blade, uh, quick strike blade. So whenever you play Vi, she automatically immediately free attacks. Then she attacks later if you're playing it in attacking turn. But she free attacks. So if you always have her on 10 and play her, she will strike automatically with quick attack and level up immediately. And ancient coin because she costs one less now. She's four mana. Okay. Moving on to the powers that we have. When you when we do damage to units, its power goes by by the amount of damage it took. Five plus attack power strikes the weakest. Uh enemy which you just saw because uh Vi had more than five power she struck uh um victor the moment you played Vi. Uh, refill your mana every turn meaning you will always have three mana the spell mana spell banked with uh, a bouncing blade that means that you will always be able to play bouncing blade for somewhat free right one mana three mana you get um round game start we draw two extra card um Vi's two star power where you get start the game with one extra mana as well as when you, uh, you game start you draw two cards that cost two or less always game start um this is Vi's uh, one star uh, power grant your strongest ally plus one hp grant and give it one impact every turn it gets one impact and um, game start you heal for two that's about it hey everyone thank you so much for tuning in do let me know in the comment section of which videos you want next like yasuo versus galio or bard versus draven or any of their campaign mission the only one left to be unlocked is garen so you have to wait a little till i have him unlocked for his request for a path with that being said have a great day take care and catch you next time bye